Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. Just wanted to do a quick additional update on the uh, war between Russia and Ukraine and just uh, do some map clarifications here real quick. So first and foremost, I do understand that uh, things are starting to quicken in this conflict. Uh, I have uh, talked before how as we... Uh, continued to see the uh, the Russian uh, bombardment of uh, Ukrainian frontline positions and the exhausting of uh, the uh, Ukrainian force construct, uh, specifically in the eastern Donbass, uh, we would start to see things uh, changing on the ground. Now, uh, obviously this map is not 100% 100 uh, correct. Uh, we we could see uh, the fact that the Russians uh, have moved into areas not indicated on this map. And again, we, we do anticipate that over the course of the next uh, days and, and especially weeks, we could see uh, territory uh, rapidly uh, changing hands in terms of especially the, the Russians uh, uh, taking control of uh, areas that uh, it has not originally uh, possessed, specifically uh, Lysychansk and areas west of there. Yes, right now we have heard reports that uh, the uh, Russians uh, have moved into uh, Lysychansk. Uh, obviously, there have been uh, a, an additional uh, river crossing that I talked about uh, earlier in uh, this locale. Uh, this has been going on for a few days now. But uh, to, to uh, come out and state that, yes, there was an effective uh, uh, river crossing by the Russians that may have not been driven back by Ukrainian forces, we have seen that happen, too, where uh, we, we did see an attempted crossing by the Russians, uh, and uh, we, we had received information that the Russians had crossed at certain points, and in fact, uh, they were eventually uh, driven back. It doesn't look like that is the case uh, to the northwest of Lysychansk. It looks like the Russians have consolidated their hold uh, to the northwest of the city and are continuing to press uh, towards the uh, southern uh, approaches of uh, Lysychansk as well. But again, uh, as I continue to do videos, uh, obviously it may not be completely up to date in terms of the situation uh, on the ground. Uh, you can expect to uh, see the uh, the situation change, and then at the same time you can uh, expect to see the situation change on the part of the Russians too, uh, as you could see some limited Ukrainian counterattacks in some areas. But uh, right now, uh, again, in the eastern area near Lysychansk, uh, expect a, a quickening of the Russian operation and quite possibly uh, seizures of large areas of territory uh, by the Russian military as uh, what, uh, what we believe here at MPAM is the eventual collapse of the Ukrainian military apparatus in the eastern part of the conflict zone. Uh, and, and specifically what I mean by the east is east of uh, Slovyansk, Kramatorsk, and near Bakhmut. And obviously these areas are where my, my cursor is kind of hovering over right now. We can expect quite possibly uh, to change hands uh, uh, fairly uh, soon. But we will continue to watch, monitor, and report and bring you more content for your consumption. Thanks for joining us.